Welcome sa sip9.com This video, tutuloy natin ang ating series about functions, no? And dito sa video na to ay magsisimula tayo ng panibagong series, no? Natapos na natin yung quadratic function at linear function. Ang pag-aaral naman natin ngayon ay, ay polynomial function. So, saan ba nag-arise yung mga polynomial functions, no? Uh, Siyempre, bago natin pag-aaralan yung the function itself, ang tanong natin is meron ba mga sitwasyon kung saan Uh, nakakakuha tayo or nag yung polynomial function. So, nakikita nyo sa inyong uh, screen, yun yung uh, pinaka uh, isa sa mga na very common example na kung saan nakakakuha tayo ng polynomial functions. So, basahin natin yung, ano, yung problem. Squares of the same size are cut from the four corners of a rectangular cardboard with dimensions uh, 30 centimeters by 20 centimeters. After cutting, the cardboard is folded to make an open box. Find the equation that describes the volume of the box. So I think, um, uh, by the way, nag-drawing na ako no, kasi medyo matagal yan. And magtatagal yung video natin pag uh, ako ay mag-drawing pa. No? So, uh, this is the, the, the cardboard. No? Na yung 20 and 30, uh, 30 by 20. Carb cardboard natin. So, from here, no? from here up to here, no? ilan yan? 30, no? Centimeters. And from here to here, that's 20. So, ang gagawin natin is magkakat tayo ng square sa so corners. So, yan ha, naguhita na natin. Tatanggalin natin yan. And, syempre, pag nagkat tayo, yung matitira sa sa dito ito sa part na to mawawala na to kasi kakat natin yan di ba so matitira dito ilan from here to here ilan so for example lang tayo ng 2 cm so 2 dito 2 dito 30 minus 4 di ba 26 na lang pag 3 3 6 24 na lang so pag nagkatayo ng x dito at saka x dito Ilan na lang? 30 minus yung dalawang length na kinat natin. So, 30 minus 2x. And here also, pag nagka tayo ng x at ng x dito, that is already 20 minus uh, 2x. That's in centimeters also. No? Hindi ko nalagay yung centimeters. No? But, uh, of course, this is, uh, these are in centimeters. Okay? So, saan yan dito sa box natin, no? I think this is not easy, this is not difficult to visualize no. So itutupi mo tong box na to, itutupi natin siya dito. Fold natin and then itutupi natin pataas. And then pataas din ito. And then pataas din ito. Pataas din yan. Para makabuo tayo ng box, di ba? So I think uh, yung 30 minus 2x and yan. Ito yan, di ba, yung part na yan. Ito na yung fold natin eh. So yung 30 minus 2x This, from here to here. No? Yun na yung 30 minus 2x natin. No? And then yung 20 minus 2x from here to here. It's 20 minus 2x. Hindi yan drawn to scale, no? Uh, I think uh, this is uh, this is almost three times as this. But, uh, but I think we are, of course, we are uh, correct in our expression. This is 20 minus 2x. At yung height, yun yung, yung height natin, di ba? Yung, ito yung tupi natin pag ganun. So, yung pag tinayo na natin, yung mga height natin is ganito or ito, no? So, ang height natin ay x. So, if, if you want to find the volume of the box, then we just have to multiply this three, no? The length, the width, and the height. The length, the width, and the height. The height. So, magiging... Uh, 30 minus 2x times uh, 20 minus 2x this is our width 20 minus 2x times the height which is x simplify natin siguro i-multiply muna natin doon dalawa so magiging 30 minus 2x times 20x 
minus 2x squared. This is just binomial, no? So we can multiply, we can distribute, or we can use your FOIL, no? your FOIL method. Ninyo. So the first term, product of the first term is 600 times x. 30 times 20 is 600 times x, 600x. And then the outside term, we have uh, 30 times 2 is 60. And then we have x squared. And then minus 2x times 20x, 2 times 20 is 40. x times x is x squared. And then yung last term natin, minus, uh, dalawang minus, so magiging plus siya, dalawang negative. So magiging 2x times 2x squared is 4x cubed. No? Simplifying, we have uh, 600x minus as uh, what else 60x squared tsaka minus 40x squared this is pareho negative so magiging 100x squared plus 4x cubed so magiging volume is equal to rearrange natin unahin natin yung uh, mas malaking exponent so this is 4x cubed minus 100x squared plus 600 now, this expression is an example of a polynomial expression. No? Itong part na to. At yung relationship na to is an example of a polynomial function. No? So, ang function is for every x, for, e for every um, x, there is a corresponding uh, y value. So, di ito ang y natin is yung volume. No? So, pwede natin i ano yan na y. Pwede natin lagay na y or f of x. And for every x, there is always, uh, there is exactly one f of x. So it's a function. This is a polynomial function. Okay, so let's talk about expressions muna. Yun. But expressions, wala siyang equality. No? So 4x cubed uh, minus 100x squared plus 600x. So kung makikita natin yung pinakamalaking exponent dyan is 3, no? So, ang tawag natin dyan is the degree of the expression. So, this is a polynomial expression. Polynomial expression no? in x. No? Kasi yung, yung variable natin with degree 3. So, yung degree yung pinakamataas na exponent. So, pag sinabi natin na pag ito lang dalawa, kunwari wala to negative 100x squared plus 600x. Pag wala ito, ah, so ang degree niya na ito. No? So, yung ibig sabihin ng degree. Uh, yung degree of a polynomial in of an expression in one variable is the largest largest uh, exponent no? dun sa expression na yun. Okay? So, that's uh, I think malinaw yung degree natin na tinatawag. Now, uh, ang terms naman, uh, remember, baka nagtataka kayo bakit marami tayong binabanggit. No? Ang pinag-aaralan natin, yung mga, mga terminologies na ginagamit sa polynomial function, no? kasi syempre gagamitin natin yan later. So, dapat maging familiar tayo with, ter with the terminologies. So, ang terms naman, yun yung individual terms doon sa function. So, ang gagawin natin is ipa-plus mo lahat. No? So, magiging Para maging plus lahat siya, maging 4x cubed plus negative 100x squared plus 600x. Remember, yung minus is the same as plus negative. No? So, ang terms natin dyan ay 4, 4x cubed and then negative 100x squared and then 600x. Yan yung terms. Now, of course, obviously, pag minus siya, magiging negative yung term mo kasi you have to convert it to to plus. And then yung ating coefficients, yung numerical coefficients natin, we have, sa 4x cubed, we have 4. We have negative 100. Tsaka we have 600. Okay? Of course, uh, pwede natin i-represent no? yung uh, ating uh, ating 
this function we, we can represent this as no y equals uh, 4x cubed minus 100x squared plus 600x or we can also represent it, it as f of x or maybe p of x usually a polynomial nga malaking p p of x or maybe just a small small p p of x equals 4x cubed minus 100x squared plus 600x okay so ang polynomial function depend ano yan hanggang pwede siyang linear no so kung familiar kayo sa linear function i think Kung napanood yung videos natin, like 2x plus 5, this is a linear function. And then, we, of course, we have the g of x, for example, which is uh, x squared minus 3x plus 1. This is a quadratic function. These are also examples of polynomial functions. Ito polynomial function with degree 1, kasi isa lang yung, uh, 1 lang yung pinaka uh, highest exponent na niya. And then we have x squared plus minus 3x plus 1 is a quadratic function with uh, degree 2, no? Pag degree 2 ang tawag natin, quadratic function. And syempre, itong yung ano natin, 4x cubed is uh, 3, ang tawag natin is cubic function. Pero in general, lahat yan sila, ang tawag natin sa kanila ay polynomial functions. Okay, so I hope pero kayo natutunan sa video na to and uh, hopefully, uh, tandaan nyo yung ano, no? yung mga terms na ginagamit natin, kung ano ba yung terms, kung ano ba yung coefficients, kung ano ba yung degree. These are very important terms dahil gagamitin natin yan sa mga susunod na videos natin. See you in the next tutorial.